All right, big day, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you that you know all things and all that's gonna happen today. We find great comfort in that. We thank you for this amazing blessing of being able to be a part of Caleb and Hannah's wedding. We pray that you would bless this ceremony, that it would be a testimony of your goodness and your grace. And we pray for the celebration to follow. We thank you that you've called us to enjoy the good gifts that come from your hand. And so we just pray that these things would be on our minds, that we would not look to the gifts instead of the giver, but that this would lift our eyes to you as our good and great God. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen, Amen Lord. Caleb, growing up, I pictured a man that would be absolutely perfect for me and everything I was ever looking for, but I never thought he was actually out there. After having met you, I now know that I was right. That perfect man is not out there. <laughs> but, but I will admit you are pretty darn close. It still blows my mind how God brought us into each other's lives out of nowhere. And I know it's so overset that God's timing is perfect, but it literally is. <laughs> um, I also don't believe in soulmates, but you're like my soulmate. <laughs> or at least I truly believe you are the person God designed me to be with. I love you so much, and I am slightly terrified, but mostly excited <laughs> to start this next chapter of life with you. You are truly the love of my life. You have always encouraged me to be who I truly am, and you are my constant rock that I know I can always lean on. I remember our first date when I told you I wanted more tattoos and I rode a motorcycle. <laughs> I was expecting you to tell me that would have to change. Instead, you, you literally told me that you weren't my mom and I can do what I want. <laughs> I've never met a woman like you who was always in my corner. <laughs> encouraging me to keep going. You are a godly, beautiful, wicked, dorky, hysterical woman, and you are my soulmate and my better half. God willing, you're the future mother of my children, and I know that there's no one else I'd rather spend my life with. I will never truly deserve you or your love. Like, you are way out of my league. <laughs> On so many levels. <laughs> I promise to love you unconditionally, no matter the circumstances from now and until we move on to the next life. I love you so much and I'm so excited to see what the Lord has in store for us. Dear family and friends, we are gathered here in the presence of God to celebrate the marriage of Caleb Johansson and Hannah Bassett. Marriage is a wonderful gift from God and it's a wonder that's on display today. And you're caught up in it. We can see it in your eyes. We can hear it in your giggles, Caleb, and uh, in your laughs. <laughs> the love that you have for one another, the desire to spend your life together, to know and to be fully known as much as you are able. Let this wedding not only be a celebration of Caleb and Hannah's new life, but of your new life in Christ as well. I, Caleb, give myself wholly and faithfully to you, Hannah, and I take you as my wife in covenant with God. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, and to lead, serve, and love you as Christ loves the church, so long as we both shall live. I, Hannah, <laughs> give myself wholly and faithfully to you, Caleb, and I take you as my husband, in covenant with God. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, and to submit to you as the church is subject to Christ, so long as we both shall live. So by the virtue of the authority committed to me, by the Church of Jesus Christ and the law of the State of California, 
I now pronounce you Caleb and Hannah, husband and wife, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Caleb, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Johansson. Let's stand and Mr. always knew she was going to need someone amazing by her side to keep up with her craziness. And Caleb, I am so glad that it's you, that you match her level of craziness and help kind of balance the whole relationship. So I am so proud of you guys and so happy for you. She is a beautiful, wonderful, amazing person. And Caleb, I just want you to know, and I know you know this, but I'm just telling you anyway, just in case you forget, you have found yourself a gem of a woman in Hannah. You both just radiate joy to those around you and you complement one another so beautifully and are truly a stunning example of Christ-like love to one another and to those around you. A lot of times um, when these good things happen to us in life, you know, like a relationship or a wedding, you know, we run through them so fast with a smile on our face and we never stop and reflect on God's faithfulness. I want you to, I want you to stop for a moment. I want you to take a look at all these people. They're here for Caleb and Hannah's wedding. As you guys both start this new chapter in your life, most importantly, never forget God's faithfulness. Hannah, I can honestly say that I couldn't imagine anyone else to marry Caleb. Or as a matter of fact, take the challenge of being with him for the rest of their life. <laughs> but within this last year, I have seen how you love and support him, and I know that he is in good hands. Cheers, Hannah and Caleb. <laughs> 